Well, hey friends, I was recently at Kerry Newhoff's Art of Leadership Live, a brand new conference for him, where he opened with this one phrase that's been haunting me for over a week. In his opening session, he said, unexamined motivations will drive us until they destroy us. I mean, think about that. Why do we do what we do? Oftentimes we'll do really good things, whether it's working or serving or leading, but we'll never ask the question, why am I actually doing this? Because here's the truth. If we don't examine our motivations, they can eventually drive us to places that we never ever intended to go. For a lot of us, it's actually about control. We like being in charge. We like feeling significant. We have the sense that we want to matter. And without even realizing it, we can end up using our work, our success, or even service to try to fill some void inside of us. We crave acceptance. We want to feel powerful. We're chasing success and sometimes we're actually doing it for the wrong reasons. And what I found is when you do the right things for the wrong reasons, you'll end up in the wrong places. So if we don't pause and evaluate why we're doing what we do, why we're chasing after success and control, we may actually look like we're winning on the outside while we're actually falling apart on the inside. When your motivations are driven by the need to feel accepted, to prove yourself, to gain approval, you're setting yourself up for frustration, exhaustion, and often burnout. Because here's the truth, unexamined motives, they can look like success, but they can actually lead you straight to burnout. So here's the challenge today. Ask yourself the question, why am I doing this? What is driving me? Is it a need to be noticed? Is it a need to be in control? Is it a need to feel accepted? Or are you genuinely driven by the desire to make a difference? Because when we're really honest about what's actually driving us, it can literally reshape our hearts. And we can move away from chasing what is empty to living with real lasting purpose. What I found is that your why matters more than your what. So make sure you're driven by the right motivations. What I think you'll find is that the freedom that you actually desire, it doesn't come from having more control or more approval. It actually comes through surrender. When we examine those motivations and we begin to let them go, we can finally serve, lead, and live with a pure heart and clear motivations. So today I wanna encourage you, examine your motivations. Because real freedom, it isn't actually found in control, it's really found in surrender. And if we never stop to examine them, those unexamined motivations, they'll drive us until they destroy us. Don't allow them to destroy you today. Have a great day.